What is gesture? It is the essential feeling, energy, movement, action, or pose of a character. <laughs> gesture is telling a story in a single image. It is about capturing emotion. It's about instant understanding. Your assignment is to sketch one or more characters focusing on gesture to tell the story. One word of caution. This is how parents want their children to pose for a photo. This is how children want to pose for a photo. <laughs> children are our audience, so be childlike and have fun. I look forward to seeing your work. The end. Patrice, what you're asking in this um, assignment to us, you're asking us to work the exact same way you work, which is to put the emphasis on the gesture as the foundation. Because my, my, what I always think is if you don't capture that in your, in your sketch, then you're not going to be able to find it in the final artwork. You know, you have to start with a really good base, a really good foundation. Because like you know, Janie Trasler, she, she called it um, uh, rouging the corpse. You know, if you don't <laughs> making a note of that, that's yeah. too I know. If you don't, you know, if you don't, um, you have to have the essence from the beginning because if you don't capture it there, you're not going to, you know, as much color as you add to it or beautiful line. If you haven't captured the gesture, you're really missing a good opportunity. The gesture is the foundation. I think so, yeah. These prompt sketches, can they be sketches? and or final art and digital and or traditional or yeah, uh, absolutely. just whatever if, yes if you have a finished piece that you think really uh, captures the assignment already submit that too and, or and uh, sketches or take it to finish any of that it was such an interesting contrast between the two photos of the two kids the, the, the parents photo <laughs> versus the kids photo my nephew and my son with their participation trophies <laughs> You'd rather see the sketch tilt a little more toward the, the kid-friendly pose rather than... I just think that's something to remember who our audience is because you see, you know, so many illustrators drawing a child sitting perfectly in a chair reading a book. Well, children sit upside down in chairs to read books. But when we think of them, we, we just have them sitting very nicely at their desk, you know, but... Straight anyone, up and down. <laughs> exactly. But that's not how anybody sits, never mind children. So right. I, that's what that that little picture was. Like when you when a, a child is angry or mad, they don't just go, like, they get their whole, you know, their shoulders come up and they get all mad and they pull their arms and they stomp their foot. They might throw themselves on the ground, you know, so just, I mean, my, I know my work is whimsical, but even in realistic uh, paintings, if someone's painting realistic, you have to remember that, that these children are a little bit over the top with their emotions, that we're drawing for children, they're the audience, so remember how children behave and how they relate, and I think that's how you can capture them better. Whether it's, you know, um, animals or children or adults or even inanimate objects like a Walt Disney can make a broom dance. I have a, a reference book to suggest if anybody wants to look a little farther. Great. What is that? This one right here, it's an uh, oldie but goodie, and it's a cartoon animation by um, Preston Blair, a Disney animator. You can find a lot of these pages online that people are, you know, like this one right here, Line of Action, where you can, it just shows you uh, different gestures of what yes. captures it and what doesn't capture it. And it's, so many people are so close to getting it just right, but they, you know, swing and a miss. So he, he really can... Uh, show you um, examples of how, how to make it a, a hit and not a miss. Great, Patty. Thank you so much. We look forward to workshopping with you on Tuesday, January 30th at 2 p.m. U.S. Central Time. We're all going to get started early on our sketches so that we'll have time to make them as good as they can be. You're going to have time to look at nine or ten of these sketches. You're going to select the ones that help demonstrate your lesson and the points that you want to make with us, and we all really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing everybody's work.